All right, what's going on guys? So we got another Alliance War video today, and this one is jam-packed with fights. Probably my longest war in ages, so this war was also probably the sloppiest war in ages, uh, or ever. So the first fight here, the sloppiness begins at the start. Uh, it's a morning star, and I was thinking, you know, let's go with Corvus because he's bleeding me, right? First of all, this morning star is unduped, so I could have brought in Spidey and finished this fight in like... 30 seconds, right? Uh, because if she's unduped, you're not going to get the bleed on you. Second of all, I could have also brought Simeon Supreme because uh, he doesn't get bled by Morningstar anyway because he's, his hits aren't physical, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I brought Corvus. Class disadvantage, no charges. And uh, yeah, so this fight is going to be a little while. So get ready to strap in because, oh, look at that. We're out of charges and she still has 40% left to go. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for those to recharge. <laughs> um, and she won't even throw a special. Like, that's just great. I accidentally pushed her to an L2 as well because I completely forgot about the strike back. Uh, just very, very sloppy start to this war. And, uh, oh, trust me, it gets much more sloppy. You'll see this. So, yeah. Uh, the, the charges are coming back quick. I don't. I was trying to activate uh, the signature ability where it recharges quicker. Uh, but she just wasn't really throwing the special. I'm not sure if I got it off or not, but it, I think I did. It looked like my charges came back pretty quick. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to bait the L1 first this time. Uh, and then, oh, look at that. I accidentally got hit. Now I can't even use my L2. Well, that's just going to make this fight even longer now because I can't use my L2. And again, she won't throw her dang special. And I got hit, which sucks. Uh, this fight, man, is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um... And I'm worried about the strike back now with the L3. I don't want to use it in case it doesn't kill her. Uh, I don't want to put her to another L2 because I'm not trying to eat an L2. So I'm just trying to bake the L1s. And yeah, finally get her low enough. And yeah, then I'm just like, okay, I don't even want to waste time with the L3. Let's just go in, hit her again, finish this fight. God, that took way too long. 69 hits. Uh, moving on to the next fight. I see a science champion, two science champions on the path here. And I was really hoping that the next science champion wasn't a thing on the all or nothing because it would have been very sketchy. Uh, I put this fight in the calculator and it, it was a 100% chance of it being a Hulk or a Hulk Ragnarok. 100% chance for both. I'm like, okay, either way, I'm going to get a charge because Hulk's an Avenger. So I figured, perfect, let me bring in Corvus. So this basically allows me to get a free charge here, the Avenger charge, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, Hulk here, this is the unblockable special one, so this is actually not a bad placement. If you mess up on that Hulk special one, uh, it can really mess you up. It can really mess you up. I'm pretty good at evading it though, so I wasn't really worried. Um, but yeah, you gotta be on point with it. Um, like right here, evade a heavy attack. I push him to the L2 just because it's more, it's much easier to evade, and it's just not really sketchy at all. Uh, right here, I'm pretty much out of charges. got one left, I use my L1. Um, yeah, this is going to be a little sketchy to finish this fight off, but that's okay. I'm uh, just going to bait the L1s nice and slow, play this, play this patiently. Gonna back up, bait it, there we go. Got to be very careful with the unblockable. Um, there you go, it throws it again, got to be careful. Uh, especially because I don't have the glaze charges up, so I could easily die right now. Uh, there we go, 1% left, go in and finish them off. So, yeah, that fight went good. Uh, <clears throat> one of the few fights that wasn't sloppy in this war. And we got charged, so that was great. Now the next fight, I put in the calculator, and it's a 565 Captain America Infinity War. He had a 565 Captain America Infinity War in his profile as well, so I was, was, was sure that's who this was going to be. Um, so yeah, the plan here is to go with Stark Spidey. Just build up as much poise as possible, uh, and then just hit him hard. And he can, the thing about Cap on this node is he can glance. So first of all, the taunts can fail to apply because they can get glanced. And uh, you can also just hit really weak because of the glancing hits. Uh, pair that with the armor on this node, and yeah, he, I can see it's not a horrible placement. Uh, you can also glance your power drain on your heavy attack with Stark Spidey, so that could mess you up. But really, I mean, this all this stuff could happen, but the odds of it happening concurrently throughout the fight is just not good. Uh, it, I, I, I'm not scared at all of fighting Cap on this node, not slightly like this is a pretty easy fight for spidey um the, the, he doesn't glance that much he does a bit but still it's minuscule overall and uh yeah now i'm pretty much just gonna build up max poise and then i'm gonna launch off my special with 10 poise charges bada bing bada boom so there we go Tw big 12k crit and uh that pretty much sealed the deal on that fight yeah that fight was another one of the few that weren't sloppy um 
so yeah this was all the fights for this day and i tried to get uh we tried to try to coordinate middle that night but it just didn't work so we're doing uh middle uh two hours before the war ends pretty much i wanted all the mini bosses to be down by the main boss because i'm gonna be taking the champion boss with my uh uh uh, Symbiote Supreme. That's why we brought him to this war. And right here, I make a bunch of mistakes. So I, I accidentally put on a 20% attack boost. Um, and I, I need to, I want a max boost because this war is insanely close. So I just wasted 20% boost right there. And then right here, I put on a Mystic boost because the plan was to use Symbiote Supreme here. And then I got when I went into this fight, I see that it's a 565 Heimdall. I look at the health, and it kind of honestly scared me. I, I in hindsight is 2020, and I really should have just used Symbiote Supreme, but what I ended up doing was uh, using Corvus for this fight. So I took off the Mystic Boost. I wasted that Mystic Boost, put on a 200% Cosmic one, and uh, yeah, I, I really shouldn't have done that. I should have just went with Symbiote Supreme, and you guys are going to see why. Um, this is where everything starts to go really badly. So I put on an advanced power boost. It's my last advanced power boost for this fight because honestly, I was scared of this Heimdall, man. I, I died. I timed out to him before. I was really scared of him. I don't know. The 565, it kind of just got in my head. Uh, also, the fact that this war was so close. There's so much pressure right now. We, we had like three deaths allowed at the VSO, like 30 fights. And if we didn't lose, like, it's a lot of pressure, right? That's why I wanted to get war done the night before so I wouldn't have to worry about waking up early. Uh, it's also right when I woke up, so you know, I'm kind of tired. Um, yeah, this is where it starts to go wrong. So right here, I, I don't know what happened. I just kind of block, dropped my block. He stuns me on the last day of his combo, throws his L1. I'm in the corner. I'm like, fudge, what the heck, man? I throw my L2 here to get a true strike. It's blockable. I get pushed to an L3. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to just cycle L2s. So now I'm at a stupid L3. I'm like, okay, this could still do good damage. And it doesn't do that much. It really does not do that much compared to the L2. 29th, actually that looks better. That number, but it, it didn't feel like it did much. Um, like look how hard my crits are, 8k on mediums. So uh, yeah, uh, so I got a bait in L1 here. Um, and yeah, now he gets true strike. I'm gonna try to punish with my heavy attack. And then I realize, oh crap, I'm way too far away. Let me throw my, my, my special one to just get out of that, cancel out the heavy attack right here. Punish his heavy with my heavy, that was much better. And right here I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I don't have a lot of health left. Uh, let me bait one heavy, go in, hit him with a full combo, hit him with my L1, and pray. <laughs> it kills him. Oh, that was close. That was super sloppy, right? Super close. I really just should have went with Symbiote Supreme. I'm sure he could have done that fight. Um, and, yeah, it sucked, man. I'm pretty much going to put nine 6k potions into Corpse now to heal him up because we're fully boosted. Um, a lot of items. A lot, a lot, a lot of items. Um, yeah, that was horrible. I really should have just used Symbiote Supreme, but I mean, hey, at least we didn't die, right? Next fight, it's an Iron Man Infinity War on Note 34. I put this fight in the calculator, and nothing was coming up. It was saying, like, Hulkbuster or Ultron. I don't know, maybe I put something in wrong, but I didn't know who this was going to be. There's nothing in the profile. I get into it, though. Iron Man Infinity War, I'm like, okay, my Power 1 Star Boost has worn off at this point because I had to get unlinked. Um, but you know, I have 30 charges, so this fight should be fine, right? I'm hitting pretty hard, um, so I'm not really worried, right? The plan is pretty much just to get to my L2, and he's toast after that, and if not, I'll get a bunch of power back, so I don't have to worry. So I'm looking at my power here, I'm like, okay, nice, I'm pretty close, let me bait out, uh, some, take some block hits, let me go in, oh no, auto block, oh no, power drain, here comes a heavy, I punch with my heavy, kills him. Oh my god! I almost died right there. That w <laughs> Again, sloppy, horrible. That was just, wow. If I died to an Iron Man Infinity War using Corvus, I don't think I'd live that down. So now, last fight uh, before I can go take the mini boss and the boss. Uh, it's a Void here, so I'm going to put on a Combat Regen Boost. I've put on Suicides for Corvus since, since the Heimdall fight. And so yeah, I know this is a Void, but uh, he can't kill me as long as I have the Glaive up. I have two charges at this point, so you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling fine. I know I can do this. I'm going to be taking DJ and damage, but it's fine. I don't need Corvus for any more fights. Uh, let me just bait out heavy attacks, and I'll be all good, right? I just look at my damage. I'm like, okay, we're hitting pretty hard. Let me keep baiting out these heavies. Come on, man. Throw them. He's being kind of a... Not really throwing them, but it's okay. Um... I don't really want him to throw any specials, I just try to trying to get to my L2 as quickly as possible and then throw it right here, push him to his L2, hit him on the block, let trying to bait one more heavy attack. I thought I baited a heavy. No! Wait, what? Oh, L2! And I died. 
I thought I baited a heavy attack. My block was up. I died. Let's go take a look at that in slow motion real quick. Alright, let's take a look back at that in slow motion. So, we hit him, right? We're blocking. Hit him on the block. He comes at us. Parry. Blocked hit. And then look at this. My block is up. And then out of nowhere, he just throws his L2. And I thought I was baiting a heavy attack. And I backed up as I was baiting a heavy attack. But, oh, nope. Ate it to the face. And then... That was rip. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was the fight in slow motion, and uh, just was so mad after that. The pressure was on, and I just uh, messed up, man. I I really took felt like I, I lost this war uh, at this point. Uh, I didn't even know if we lost yet. I just felt like really, it's all my fault, you know? Um, but the thing is, like I said, hindsight is twenty twenty. so if I would have used Symbiote Supreme for that Heimdall fight, uh, and gotten it down, probably would have been uh, smoother than with the Corvus anyways, I would have had the power start one boost, and if I would have used it on this void, I would have gotten to my L2 with Corvus, like that, and if it didn't kill him, I would have cycled my power, and I would have gotten back to another L2 very quickly, uh, and this fight would have just been a, a joke, but I was out of power start once, so I just used a regen boost. Yeah, uh, that's something to think about. Like I said, hindsight's twenty twenty. But uh, yeah, boom, there we just debated the L2, no problem. Uh, I had to go back in with Spidey because I was actually had like one or two items available left at this point. I couldn't revive Corvus. Uh, so I just popped on a regen boost with Spidey and just went for it. I, backup wasn't available uh, anyway, so I had nothing I could have done. I had to get it down, right? I had to, I'm, I'm on the boss. I'm supposed to take the boss with Symbiote Supreme, so. Yeah, but we got him down with Spidey. Right there, my stupid alarm went off. Um, I'm glad that didn't happen during the fight. Uh, so yeah, here's my last item available. Uh, very, very expensive war on items and boosts so far. And uh, yeah, so Punisher 299 here. I go with Spidey at like low health, but I got the regen boost. I'm not worried. It's a Punisher. I'm, I'm not scared of Punisher. I fight him here. All the time, it's super easy with Dark Spidey, uh, he just evades the L1 and L2, and then the kinetic reactor doesn't really give him any power, so it's no big deal. Um, so yeah, I build up about 8 poise, then I can start hitting him. Um, but yeah, it just really sucks, especially looking back and seeing that I should just save that power start 1 boost. I don't know, I was just kinda freaking out when I saw the Heimdall was a 565, 200k health, and I, I, the thing is, I can't bleed him with Symbiote Supreme. And that, I was like, well, my damage being enough, I don't want to time out again. That one time out, man, it got me scared of time out again. I, I'm sure it would have been fine, but, yeah. So here my power gets drained, uh, but he's almost down. Bait with a more heavy attack. Uh, and then go in, and boom, he's down. So right after this, I had to, I had to go out and try. I had all my alarms turned off, because I don't want that going off in the middle of the boss fight. Um, but yeah, here, this is what, I, this was the fight I was actually most nervous about, like, I wanted, like I said, I wanted to do war the, the night before, get it out of the way, then I could just sleep in, you know, not have to worry about doing war, um, but we couldn't get all the mini bosses down that night, uh, so I, I just wanted to boost up once and take it all down, but this was the fight I was most nervous about, uh, I was like, the middle should be fine, I, I know what I'm going to do for every fight, uh, and yeah, it's just this guy, uh, I've never done it, it's my first time taking a boss, look at that health, 380k health, 380,000 health, man, that's insane, uh, three minutes with Symbiote Supreme, so, like, really nervous, but, after I died, all my nerves kind of just went away, and I was like, well, I already died, I already screwed up, man, I already feel crappy, now I'm just pissed, now I'm just pissed off, and I just want to kill stuff, I just want to destroy anything that's in my path, take out my anger on something, and this champion, he, he's getting the anger, man, he's getting every ounce of it, um, so yeah, I sold the regen boost, so that helps because you can take a lot of block damage at the start, pretty much the plan here is to get to my L3, so right here you see I was at 100 genetic potential, and that's when you want to blast off the L3, the reason for that is because as soon as you change blessings, which all three blessings are going to activate after this, uh, that genetic potential turns into power. So look at my power bar to just shoot right up. About a bar of that was because of the genetic, genetic potential. The rest of it was from Mystic Dispersion. I have about three points in it right here. I'm trying to bait an L2, doesn't want to throw it. I'm like, okay, drop my L3, or L2, sorry. 24k, 19k crit, drop my L2 again. Boom, 30k crit, I'm at another L2. Oh, my power goes to an L3. Okay, let's hit him with a 5 hit combo, get some bleeds going. Um, and then let's just drop another L3, because why not? Uh, and I'm looking at the time, I'm looking at the health. 
30% health left over a minute and a half. Dude, this is going great. Oh my God. Made me feel a little bit better in the moment, like I've taken on my anger. I was like, yes, man. Um, right here, you're going to bait out one heavy attack, go in, hit him with some more bleeds, and then drop my L2. Bada bing, bada boom. Kabawi, he's down. Um, so we sold the champion boss, which definitely made me feel a little bit better. Um, but I still felt really bad for dying, man. It was so close. The pressure was just really on. I, I don't know. That's why. I, that's why I wanted to do the fights before the night before. I, I like fighting in the at night much more than in the morning. And yeah, uh, it just it sucked. It really sucked. But uh, we did end up uh, losing this war. We actually uh, in another battle group there was uh, a thing. Uh, and backup was needed to take the thing and uh, someone actually got stuck on the node 29 Korg um, So yeah, we actually left that up. So I mean if I die if I didn't die, I, I still think we would have lost uh, Obviously, th there's multiple deaths. I, I contributed of course. I'm a, I obviously take blame uh, But you know we win as a team we lose as a team at the end of the day, you know, I just felt really bad in the moment but uh, Yeah, it's all right. Uh, we're about six and two for the season. We should be fine still get masters and everything uh, it just it just feels crappy when you die, man. And you can't help but blame yourself. Um, but you know it's all good. Whatever. At least I scold the champion boss, and now I'm really confident that I can do that again in the future. Um, I, I did have to I, once I die with Corpus, change my masteries, put on max deep wounds, uh, and just good masteries for Symbiote Supreme. Just because I was kind of nervous for that fight, but that fight went really well, so I'm really confident. Uh, anytime there's a champion boss, I'm down to take it. Anytime there's a Medusa boss. I should be okay to take it as well. Um, so yeah, feeling really good. Uh, man, I love Symbiote Supreme. I just need to trust him more. Uh, like I said, hindsight's twenty twenty. Should have saved the power start one boost for that void fight, but uh, what's done is done. That's why they say hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Uh, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed that uh, champion boss kill, drop a like. Share with your alliance if you want. Uh, that's gonna do it. I know some of you like seeing me die. So yeah, if you've been looking at it for that, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that this war. Uh, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.